And here we are for round two of our Popper Daily event here with Affinity. I've won the die roll, and of course, like any good constructed magic player, uh, I've decided that I'm going to play first. Let's take a look at our opening hand. This hand is okay. We've got a way to turn on Thought Seize. I'm good with keeping this hand. We're not going to do much early. We're playing against the black deck. Cast our Wellspring. Draw a another land, which is great because it's going to help us cast our Thought Seize and our Mirror Enforcers on the cheap, yo. Got a Tarion. So we play our Great Furnace. Play the Tarion. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We could go ahead and make a mirror enforcer here, but don't want to do that. We want to draw more cards. We'll cast a frogmite for free. And on our turn three, we have six points of damage on the board. Except for a disfigure. Eh, it figures. And we're in pretty good position. Oh, chittering rats. Oh no. I put the carapace forger back on top. Redraw the carapace forger. Play our mirror enforcer. Sacrifice our Terry on for a red and a green. Draw a great furnace. And make another 4 4. So we have a steady stream of 4 4s marching down this guy's throat. Got a Chittering Rat, throw our Atog back on top, no big deal. Cast our Atog, battle for 12, it's not blocked, blast him out of the game. Alright, if I can recall my sideboard for this game, I think all I brought in was the Shaman, and all I took out was the Tarion. That was it. Let's take a look at game 2. We are on the draw. I like this hand because I know that we're going to get a lot of disruption. We've got a Terion. We've got double perilous researches. We're going to draw a ton of cards. Duress took our Terion. But we drew Chromatic Star. So we've still got research. He reads the bones. I don't know why I didn't instep research, but it is what it is. There's an Atog and a Frogmite in play now. Chittering Rats. There goes my Frogmites. Research goes back on top. I attack. We go ahead and sack that to get a fresh draw. Wellspring happens. Citadel. Another Thought Seize. And we lose our ATOG to a guest verdict. But look at all these cards. We've got so many. Keep losing my guys to guest verdict. But that's okay, because we're going to keep drawing more. See, we drew two or a, a blast and a mirror enforcer. We're sacrificing that. Now I'm keeping blast mana open in case he has tendrils of corruption. I don't want him to gain any extra life. He's got the tendrils. I could either blast my mirror enforcer or I could peerless research it. Let's see what happens. We research, we drew fling, spring leaf from. He doesn't gain any life off the tendrils. 
We'll take two from the Chittering Rats. Oh boy. There's a Carapace Forger. If this guy gets to live and attack and is unblocked, we are in a fairly good position. But he's got Rager. Shaman, however, gets activated, holds control, finishes it off, sacks two artifacts, deals two damage to his blockers. We've got four coming through, which will put him at nine. What we don't have is enough red mana. So we kind of maybe may have messed up here. A rather large tendrils have happened. Which made me sad. It really did. But if he doesn't have the tendrils, we win that turn or we win the next turn. Acre Wellspring gets us into a mirror enforcer. Gray Merchant thinks he's going to gain him two and drain me for two, but instead we're going to blast that guy in response. Gains him nothing and makes me lose nothing. Sign and Blood's down to 12. He's got one swamp open. End of turn, I should have blasted him. But I drew the frog mite to where we would have the extra red off the spring leaf drum. We attack with our mirror enforcer. Frog mite gets disfigured. Again, I don't know why I didn't just blast him then. I think I was too scared about playing around cards that may not exist. Like, I think he draws into tendrils off the rager. And I went for the cute play, which was to fling the mirror enforcer in response to the tendrils. Whereas he would already be dead. I've given this guy an extra turn that he just didn't deserve. Chalk this up to a little bit of inexperience in Popper and getting used to it again. But uh, that was some poor play. I could be accused of slow rolling. I wasn't intending to do that. But we did get round two, 2-0. Two so as of right now in this daily event, we're 2-0. We've played against Cyclops and we've played against Mono Black. And uh, I'll be back with round three here on Popper to the People on PRMTGO. I'm Josh Schlater. Thanks for watching.